Good morning, guys. Welcome to the channel. Kind of a strange, strange point of view here, but um, we are on the way this morning. This is Friday, September 3rd. We are on the way to the hospital. And I'm driving myself to my surgery. Yes. Because it was, I, he was and, stressing me out. Angela is a bundle of nerves this morning. So my driving was stressing her out even more. So it was more relaxing for her to drive herself. Uh, it's about 6.30 or so in the morning. You can see the, well, the, you can't see the sun, but you see it getting uh, brighter and dimmer and brighter and dimmer as we go in the phone adjusting. But we are heading over for her to have her knee replacement surgery today. Uh-huh, we're running late. So you guys continue to pray for us. Yes, please. And uh, this video will continue to update as we go along throughout the day. All right, guys, so excuse the volume this morning. The headset that I plugged in apparently didn't charge well. That would have helped me with a mic, but um, people get a little nervous if you have a tripod and stuff in there here, so it might be a little shaky. There is the door that they took Angela back just a few minutes ago. Um, they're gonna allow me to come back before they take her to surgery. And uh, here in just a minute when they get her all settled in. So just keep going through as things occur. All right, guys, so we are back in the room. Angela has not gone to surgery. I am back in the room. Um, let me back. She's not going to surgery. Where are they fixing to send you to now, honey? I don't know. I think they're going to do a, a nerve block for my neck. They asked me if I wanted a nerve block. Yes, please. <laughs> the, Give me all the yeah. things to help with pain. I'm all about it. I was... And I was that way when I had babies too. Yes, give me all the things. Did you ask if they could block that nerve for about, you know, 30 days? Yeah. <laughs> when that nerve block wears off, it's gonna be a booger. I remember that from my shoulder. When that nerve block wore off, it was it was something. All right, so they're going to do the nerve block. Then they said they would bring her back in for um, nerve block, be, uh, 15 minutes. So then they bring her back into the room so I could uh, annoy her some more and keep her mind off of her um, nervousness. Uh, so I could get on her nerves so she didn't get nervous about anything else for a while. He's the one making me nervous, and he's probably more nervous than me is actually what it is. Me? You've been wearing me out. Did you eat your biscuits? I made them. Okay, guys, let me <laughs> tell you about my morning. This is my snookums here. I have. Got, I got up this morning, and I swept the whole house. <laughs> That's because your nerves. <laughs> I cooked him breakfast, made him coffee. <laughs> it's my baby. And all he did was get dressed. That's my baby. She takes care of me. That's for sure. But her nerves are causing her to do all that. You should have seen all the work she did in the house this week. Her nerves had her running around like mad this morning. I'm paying for it. Good yes, night. and this week. So we'll come back right before she goes to surgery. The doctor's already been in, you said? Yes, he already came in and prayed. Dr. Cates, when an anesthesiologist came in as well? Yes, he did not pray, but Dr. Cates definitely did. I like his prayers. Yes, yes, I mentioned that earlier. They're very personal. Yes, they are. He's an awesome doctor. Angela is uh, talking about my cup holder over here, where I put my cups. No, they're not using this IV pole for anything. I think this is a perfect place. It's a perfect cup holder. It's going to be cleaner than the floor. I think it's a perfect place for it. What do y'all think? Tell me in the comments. But she just didn't think that was appropriate Wait, for me to set them over in there. Do so you like that thing, honey? It's a space blanket. That's right. You want one of those for the house? Maybe. Look he, at it. It's a space blanket. <laughs> Heats her up. I'm going to go to space. Special air, forced air warming. It's pretty warm. Shoot you. I think I remember this from one other time I had surgery. I don't remember this. Huh. It's cool. I don't know. I've been in the hospital. I wonder so how much they charge insurance for that one. $5. I'm glad our max out of pockets met for the year. $5. $5. $5. Oh, you got something. Do I need to? All right, she's heading out for the nerve block. Way. <laughs> Where? <laughs> we have a YouTube channel. Oh, cool. So Angela just uh, went for a nerve block. They do sedate them for the nerve block, so that is a procedure, you know, like you heard earlier in the video. You know, I always take care of my baby. I've always taken care of my baby. Um, she's my life. So it's a standard procedure and it's this and that, but she's still, she's my life, she's my heart. Um, everything I've ever done for her has been for her and the kids and um, my family. And now that uh, 
the kids have, are making their own way and making their own families. Everything I do is for her and the grandbabies, of course. But um, so I don't like to see her wheeled out. Uh, I don't like to see her having surgery. I don't like to see her getting anesthesia and getting put under. I don't like to see her anything that, uh, that puts her at risk for anything. I don't like to worry about her. But uh, it's part of it. This knee replacement will hopefully take a large part of the pain away from my wife and uh, help her have a better quality of life. Angel's having a lot of problems. A lot of you that have followed our channel know about the um, back problems that she has. She had a um, had spinal fusions a few years back and has had nothing but problems since then. That was followed by a uh, by bone infections that set in and multiple procedures and surgeries after that that uh, didn't work and haven't worked. And um, they have, uh, she had a spinal, she had an implant that, uh, so they couldn't do any MRIs. The implant has been removed and they did an MRI recently and found that uh, she has two more bulging discs, herniated discs, bulging discs, her, one of the two, and multiple other things wrong with her spinal cord that is, um, it's messing a lot of other things up, so I don't like to see my, my wife in pain. So y'all keep her in your prayers um, for that and that the recovery of the knee goes well and uh, helps take away the pain that's going on there. It's uh, for the last five years, she's caught total, her life has been total H-E double hockey sticks. And uh, I sure would like to see her have a normal life. She's too young to have to deal with what she has to deal with on a daily basis. All right, folks, so this was not the shot that I thought we were gonna get next. Uh, figured we'd get Angela coming back into the room after her nerve block, but to our surprise, the, uh, the anesthesiologist that you saw just a minute ago, or the nurse anesthetist, I'm sorry, that you saw a minute ago, came back into the room, said uh, Mr. Petway, Dr. Cates came in and is ready for Angela for surgery. So we're gonna let you come back here and um, give her a kiss and give her her, uh, you know, see her for a second before we take her into surgery. So I went back to the, um, where they had given her nerve block. She was, uh, you know, slightly sedated, but um, I went in there and uh, gave her loves and talked to her for a few minutes. She's very nervous. She was um, you know, starting to cry a little bit. So that was at about 8.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Uh, very nervous going back into surgery. They said they were fixing to give her giving y'all the view that I'll be staring at here for the next um, hour and a half or so. They wait on them to call me. <laughs> and the next phone call should be, uh, or the one where they come and get me and put me in one of these two rooms, which is the consultation room. This is where I will meet with the doctor. And Dr. Cates, which I'm very familiar with him because he's done all of my surgeries and will be doing mine here in the next few months as well. But, um, so this will be my view, waiting on somebody to get me to put me in one of the rooms here. But uh, 8.30, I should hear from Dr. Cates probably around, um, probably hear from him around 9.30 or so is what I'm assuming. He said it's gonna take, it'll take about an hour to do her surgery. It's amazing what they can do now in such a short length of time. So they just came and got me out of the waiting room, brought me back in here into a consultation room, which is where Angela's surgeon will come out here and meet with me. Uh, he'll be back here in just a minute. I actually hear him in a room down the hall where he is doing a pre-consultation with one of his patients he's fixing to do a surgery with. We know Dr. Cates very well, so look forward to seeing him, him here in a minute so that he can tell me how the surgery went with my baby. Updates coming soon on how it went. So what I want to show right here, this is after recovery, we're in the room. I'm showing the empty bed. They just replaced the linens. On Angela, the linens on Angela's bed. She has two hours post-op, or an hour after she's gotten out of recovery. She's gotten up with physical therapy and walked into the bathroom, which is behind me back here, and through that door. It's just amazing that um, two hours after she's had a knee replacement, that she's walking on a walker. 
technology is phenomenal. I know you people that have been through this have seen that, but it's just amazing what they can do now. So that is her first trip walking. She's in a tremendous, tremendous amount of pain. Um, they're not sure that the nerve block worked uh, as well as it should have. Uh, Angela lives in a lot of pain. And um, she's in a tremendous amount of pain. She had a very hard recovery, waking up, very hard time waking up. And um, we'll talk more about that later. All right, guys. So it's now about, um, <clears throat> excuse me, 3 o'clock in the afternoon. We've been here since about 6.30, 7 o'clock in the morning. Angela is pretty much alert now. She's tired. I'm very tired. She refuses to be on camera. Isn't that right, honey? I can come on camera now. Oh, okay. Well, not earlier. Let me turn around so we can put you on camera. So we can put her on camera. Hey, baby. Hello. How you feeling? Very tired. Not hurting as bad as I was when I first got here into the room. Had a little heart. Did you tell him about me waking up? I just touched on it while you were back in the bathroom. Oh. I had a little bit of a hard time waking up. I don't know, I got paranoid or something. I'm not sure what happened, but. He told me, the uh, the nurse in the recovery room, the head nurse told me that um, I just needed to tell anybody next time you had surgery that uh, you were very emotional and you had a hard time when you were waking up. Oh, nurse is in. We'll be back in a minute. Quiet room as I I'm doing great, baby. Uh, I'm never gonna make it back. So what do I do with the walker? Whenever you can go out of the way before you got the step, just have it on your surgical side, okay? So that when you hold on to the rail, okay? You're gonna step up with the witch leg. Good one. Mm -hmm. The left leg. Mm -hmm. Okay. Good enough to do that again. Yeah, no, you right. We walk down here to this end of the hallway. If you can look way up here to where the nurse's station is, is where we came from. And then we did the stairs you just saw. Now we're walking back up to that end. It's about a mile each way, isn't it, Angie? Something like that. Something like that. I like it. <laughs> I let the wheels be bouncing on that, did not it? Say that again. I can go home. I can go home. You made it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Look, after being in the hospital third day, five days, and other things that you got to do to get home, I'll do it anything to get home. <laughs> What'd you say, honey? Mama ain't staying at the hospital again. That's right. <laughs> And we're back to short stay 10 again. Hey guys, so um, I have about 30 minutes away from leaving, maybe a little bit less. 
But yeah, gave me a pain pill and I'm running the IV antibiotics. Um, because of my infections that I've had, this doctor gave me extra antibiotics just to make sure nothing bad happens, which I'm not upset about at all. So, um, I had a harder time waking up this time. Sometimes I have a hard time, but the, I, I don't know. I, I cried a lot when I was waking up and I think I, I think I, I, I hollered. I don't know what all I did. <laughs> he kept telling me I needed to be quiet. That's all I remember. And, uh, I guess finally I, he, he got me out of whatever I was in and I got woke up. And then they brought me back down to the room and I've been here quite quite the while. It's about yeah. 5.30 now, I think it is. Yeah, like a, we're 11 hours into this as far as being here. Right at 5 o'clock right now. Right at 5, yeah. Trying to get out of here before 5.30 because that's when the valet quits. <laughs> <laughs> We'd have to get the security card. James had to walk to the car with the security card to get it. But I did my 200 feet of walking. That's a lot of walking. But on the way back, I had a little giddy up in my step because um, my children, who might be watching this, made me angry. Children. So anyways, um, and I did my steps, going up and down the steps. As a matter of fact, I knew exactly where I was. <clears throat> you hear that? You hear that Ivy machine? It's angry with me. No, it's telling you stop telling It's done, home. it's done. Yes. Say bye bye. <laughs> <laughs> All right, it's time to go home. Bye. One six two, honey. Go on. Bricks the girl. <laughs> we like barely beat the valet, so they leave at five thirty. We was like five. I don't know what time it is. It's about it's five. A, one hair past the. <laughs> yeah. One hair past the freckle. Uh huh. But uh, yeah, the nurse took the uh, ticket out there to get to catch the valet. We're dressed. We got. 50,000 things to put in the car. That's right. Wheelchair's on the way. But we're fixing to head out the door. You did good, baby. Thank you. Tired people. Uh, so, yeah, I got like an hour and a half sleep last night. I know. He said I hadn't done nothing today. You not done anything. You got another hour and a half sleep today. I don't consider that sleep. <laughs> that was good sleep. Sound sleep. Sound asleep. Yeah. We'll say that. All right. See you on a bit. Hey everybody, I'm finally home in the bed. James got me all comfy. We got my ice machine going. It's pretty nifty. It's pretty cool. It actually is cool. Ah. Mm -hmm. It can do heat too, but it, uh, it's mainly for, for me, it's cool. We've had, uh, James has had one and David's had one. David didn't like it, James liked his. So I'll see if I like mine. So, thumbs up, finally home. Yay. <laughs> All right, get some rest, baby. Okay. All right, guys, so it's been a long, eventful day. We've got to take care of the chickens. I threw a little bit of feed to get them away from standing right beside me so I can get them in the background there. You can hear the pigs over here beside me. Here's the pigs back here. Well, two of them anyway. That's uh, Uncle Jesse and Lulu. But um, I'm going to get these animals fed. Got to get up here and get our turkeys and our quail, the rest of our chickens and our bunnies. And uh, the other eight to uh, ten more pigs we got. Get all them fed, make sure they're watered and down for the night. Angela said she's going to try to rest for a few minutes. Um, then I'm going to get some dinner for her. Thank you all for your prayers. Please continue your prayers. Uh, let's get that done. Let's get this rehab done for my wife. It's the uh, beginning of a uh, road rehab. About eight weeks. Um, a lot of the pain will be gone after about eight weeks or so. And uh, she'll start her mobility training tomorrow. She's supposed to be up and around. We've got a whole slew of instructions that we have to follow. So appreciate you guys. Keep up your, uh, keep up your prayers. Pray for us. We'll continue to pray for y'all. We love you.